the movie preview critic, informing and entertaining your movie world. The greatest technological evolution for movie lovers in the last 11 years has been the DVD. Within its digital universe is not just the movie, but scene navigation, languages, and extra features like trailers, behind-the-scene featurettes, and audio commentaries. If you're a film buff, you're living in the golden age of home movie viewing. But recently, I may have encountered just about the worst DVD of all time, The Road Warrior. I'm not talking about the movie itself, but the presentation of it within the DVD format. When you put the disc into the DVD player, the movie automatically begins. It doesn't even go to the main menu to allow you the opportunity to decide what you want to do, like watch the trailer or check out the behind-the-scenes documentaries. That's because when you press the menu button, you find out there really aren't any extra features. There isn't even a f image of anything from the movie in the background. It just has this huge Warner Brothers logo, and in the corner, the name of the movie in some generic font. This is why it's the worst DVD ever, because it has no respect for the movie it's presenting. Let's go down the list of these lame-ass options. The cast button. Yes, this is really a choice. Select it, and it gives you this unbelievably sh screen that only has the director and actor. Let's click on Mel Gibson. Okay, at least there's an image of him, but now you have to read screen to screen. Same thing for the director. When you go back to the cast main screen and then hit the continue button, you get... Wow, that's awesome. Credits. Then there's production notes. Good, there's a picture here too. But, again, you have to scroll screen to screen and read all the information. This is where a nice behind-the-scenes documentary should have gone. But I guess these early DVDs didn't have enough space on them for any special features. Also known as Cool Shit. Which is really what they should change the name of special features to. Because that's what we all ask. What kind of cool shit? this DVD have. Surprisingly, it has a theatrical trailer, which qualifies as cool shit because it has the original title of the movie at the end. What the f*** is a film flash? Oh, it's an advertising page for other movies. You can't do any navigation here except go back to the main menu. Go to the language option and it has English and French, but when you visit the subtitles page it has English and Spanish. Guess there wasn't enough room for all three languages on both options. The worst part about the entire DVD is the jump to a scene option. This has to be the shittiest, laziest chapter selections feature ever. Okay, at least it has pictures, but look at the numbers. 3, 5, 10. Then here at the end, 27, 29, and 30. Chapter 3 takes you 4 minutes into the movie. Chapter 5 takes you 9 minutes in. Choose 10, and you're at 28 minutes. This is pure bull****. Then here at the bottom, there's a start movie button, so you can't even play the movie from the main menu. And then, what's this? End credits? Let's choose that. Okay, no surprise, it's the end credits. But why does it have a special option? Why isn't it like chapter 31? This is totally foobar. For comparison's sake, I wanted to find the first DVD ever released. So I did a little research and discovered that it was Twister. So I rented it. It's also released by Warner Brothers and has the exact same sh wrong with it. When you put it in, it just starts playing. When you go to the menu, it has the same screen with the same options, but at least it has a background picture. So even if the Road Warrior DVD was the second one ever released, that means it took a step backwards. But after more research, it looks like both movies were released on the same day, March 26th, 1997. Maybe the Road Warrior was made before Twister, but released second. Either way, the DVD still sucked and check out the jump to a scene section. It's still f***ed up in the same way, but the numbers are different. For Twister, they go 6, 9, 13, 27, 29, and 32. What the f*** kind of logic is going on here? I'm sure if you run some low-budget movies, you'll find some pretty sh DVDs. But you're not expecting much to begin with. This is classic cinema. It deserves better. And unfortunately, this is the only version of The Road Warrior available on DVD. The sad part is that as of 2008, no collector's edition or special edition has been released. So it seems like we're stuck with this inferior presentation of a superior movie. But hopefully, The Road Warrior will get its due on Blu-ray. Because for now, its awesomeness is trapped in... The worst DVD ever! So until next time, consider yourselves advised, and as always... Long live good DVDs!